Hello everyone and welcome back to the Clover Made Simple course. This is Francesco and I'll be guiding you through how to use Clover uh, effectively uh, for work and life. And I'm excited to dive into this one. Now, for those who don't know Clover, it's very simply a digital notebook that blends a variety of, of, of ways to collaborate uh, not just with yourself, but with others, but um, also to sort of organize yourself. Notes, tasks, whiteboards, and a daily planner inside of one app. It is available through desktop versions, Mac and Windows, and it does have an iOS application as well, and a web version too. We are demonstrating on the Mac as we have in front of us. And to start, I thought it'd be very useful to dive into the sort of core uh, navigation Finding out where everything is before you jump in to most of the details about this application. So as you can see here, we're on the daily notes page and you can see that you can start typing away notes, tasks, or even logging journal entries. And it's very effective for that. But on this left-hand side, let's start over here. What you can do to start out is actually search any of your notes um, expansively, which is very helpful for finding those uh, notes that you may have taken on a book uh, a while ago. Um, you can start by viewing your daily notes and you can go back and forth up here uh, from the past to the present and skip forward to today if you want. Or you can use a date picker up here as well to save yourself a bit of time searching in advance uh, if you've got any plans to make in the future. You can go to the inbox and as you can see this is uh, literally everything that has been created uh, in my account that is inside of sort of uh, inbox. Um, you can put any documents, any surfaces in there that you need to sort for later. Um, so this might be suitable for me to go through and process what they all mean. Um, and you can remove that label up here if it no longer belongs inside of inbox. You've also got all projects to view everything that is inside of your Clover account, as well as down here, folders and documents. Now inside of Clover, you can actually create a variety of different types of media. You've got a document which is very much like a Google Doc. Um, it allows you to create it. However, it does uh, more interactive things than the likes of a Google Doc. You've also got surfaces. Now surfaces are very much uh, visual canvases for you and your team to collaborate on. Um, and they allow you to just build an idea using the likes of um, shapes uh, to demonstrate stuff, images to represent ideas um, and really just sketch out what's in your mind and they're canvases as well they're infinite canvases so you can continue to use the space as if as how you find best uh, suit uh, your work now the documents just going back on them you can use not just documents but you can use templates as well to help build these documents um, and to make a structure to these accounts and folders just help you keep them organized and you can create from templates as well, uh, just to save yourself a bit of time. Now, one of the pro features uh, is labeling, um, and that's available through here. And that just helps you keep certain uh, documents or surfaces or areas organized uh, for later, just to give you that layer of uh, organization. And uh, you can view the settings cogs down here, which has the rest of your information. Now, going back to the daily notes, in the center element, you do have a connected calendar. You can connect Google Calendar as well, in which you can see what calendar's connected here. You can refresh them, disconnect them, but you can modify that all inside of the settings area. There will be a separate lesson on how to navigate the settings menu and how to get started. So we'll do that one separately. So you can start creating some notes here, very simple bullet notes or whatever, just regular plain text. Um, you can even start some tasks here as well. And you can press the slash command to create a to-do list and use the other block elements in Clover. Now we'll take you through much more detail of each different section and how they operate. So we're really excited to show you all of that inside of Clover. Thank you very much folks and join us in the next lesson.